Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the new Readwise Reader app and the Readwise service that it's built on top of. Readwise has been around for a while as a service that allows you to get the most out of the books and articles that you read, helping you review your highlights and make sense of the information that you've collected and consumed over time. The Reader application is new and offers a modern take on RSS by allowing you to collect not just articles, but also tweets, PDFs, newsletters, and even YouTube videos into a single place to be perused at your leisure. What's really powerful about these two applications, though, is that when used together, you can automatically sync your highlights from the Reader app directly to the Readwise service. To start, let's download the Readwise Reader app from the iOS App Store. Now, because I've used the Readwise Reader app on this device before, it recognizes the application and it loads everything that's in my library. So the first place that we're taken once we open the app is the inbox. And it's important to understand that there are really three different places that we can put things that we send to the Readwise Reader application. The first is this inbox, which functions just like any other inbox that you're familiar with. The next is the later tab, which is where we can send things that we want to read later. And then when we're done with things, we can put them in the archive. This is all of the things that we have at least seen in our inbox and decided to take action on, even if we haven't read them yet. Like you can see at the top here, I do have a blue unread icon for the email from Eleanor Connick, which is an Obsidian Roundup email but I already saw the content of that email somewhere else, so I don't need to open up that and read it in the Readwise Reader application. I just decided to archive that so I don't see it in my inbox anymore. You'll also see at the bottom of the entries in the archive here, the purple progress bar for how far I've gotten in the article and how much time is left if I were to open this up and read it all the way to the end. Not concerned about that for now, let's go back to the inbox and walk through the reading workflow inside the Readwise Reader application. Now in the inbox, I currently have 48 items. And there are a couple of things that we can do with these items. We can tap on them and actually read them. We can send them to the later section, or we can send them straight to the archive. Let's start by tapping on the one at the top, the rise of Zoom which opens the article in the Readwise Reader application. And this is an email from a paid newsletter that I have sending to Readwise Reader. I'll walk through how to set that up in a little bit. But the important thing for now is to recognize that these things are being pulled into the inbox from multiple sources, but the workflow for going through these is the same. We can obviously read the contents of the newsletter that's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.